what is my body going to do after I have a baby. I put expectations on myself that I feel like I haven't met. People think I'm pregnant. Knock knock. Good morning. Good morning. Makari is down for her first nap. It's nine o'clock and I'm going to do Bible and breakfast. It's July. Happy July. It's gonna be a good day. I feel like I am not still not finding like a lot of time to read and like do a little devotion time. I want to prioritize doing it more in her first nap. Ideally, I would like to do this before she even wakes up. She usually wakes up between 6 and 6.30, so it's just like working back towards like waking up at 5.30 to be able to do this. Anyway, it'll happen one day. For now, I'm just going to sit and read and eat my breakfast. Finished my little Devo. I just read like the very first page. Sorry, please don't mind the messy closet of Matthew. And it was basically like a lineage of Abraham all the way down to Jesus. There were four women or like mention of four women in the whole lineage. And all those women come from like different backgrounds, have different pasts. It was just encouraging to know that they had such a huge role in Jesus's life. And like they didn't even know what God was using their life for. You never know what God is going to use you and like your life for. Anyway, just a bit of motivation for the morning. I'm going to make the bed. Don't mind, like there's mess everywhere. We are cleaning up today. For me, when I'm living my like best, healthiest self is when like all my routines are also in order. Making the bed is like the quickest, easiest way to feel productive. It just sets your day up right. If you guys in my last vlog thought it was funny how I transitioned, I saw one person who, who thought it was funny that I was like prepping you guys so much for the transition. She was like, we know, like we know what a transition is. Let's do another transition. What transition should I do today? Mm, I don't watch TikTok enough. I don't know the transition. Gonna get in my workout clothes. Ta-da. <laughs> So cringy. I'm in my workout clothes. These are leggings from Gymshark again. They really like, feel like really. And then this is like a gym tank top from Amazon actually. Sometimes I just like wearing them as regular tank tops, but I feel like they have enough support for, you know, I'm not gonna be like jumping around or anything, just doing some weights. That's that. And then I'll probably put on a little t-shirt over top. I need to get my Apple watch. I'm still using Copilot. I did a 30 day workout like challenge um, and I was using Copilot. It is is basically like a virtual personal trainer. So you're like connected to a real person. It's connected through an app. You can talk to them. I connect it to my Apple Watch. She can see like my heart rate. She can see everything. It's just so nice. It's my favorite way to work out because I'm going to the gym by myself, which I like. I love that I have someone telling me what to do specifically for my body. The day I'm filming this is the 3rd of July. So tomorrow is 4th of July, Independence Day in America. And I just feel like everywhere is so busy. I have a feeling the gym will be really busy, especially with like college kids that are on summer break. Last time I went into the gym, it was like full of just like groups of college kids. And I'm just walking in by myself. It's definitely hair wash day. Hair wash night, technically. I'm gonna wash my hair tonight, so. We're doing a hat and this Subi shit. <laughs> Subi shirt, actually. Gabe is taking my car on a walk right now, so it's like such a perfect time for me to come work out. Finding time to work out is still hard sometimes, but I just need to take opportunities like this, like Gabe taking her on a walk with co-pilot though. Leslie has done just body weight workouts for me. That is really great for seasons where just getting to the gym is difficult. I can quickly do a workout at home. When you are taking care of yourself, you will then in turn be like a better wife and a better mom. I'm just kind of speaking to myself out loud right now. So I started on co-pilot at the start of the year and there was like a little questionnaire that I filled out and then they matched me with my personal trainer who is Leslie. We did this like onboarding call just so we could like see each other and meet each other and we talked about like my preferences and kind of my like goals for working out. I just felt very confident going in to this like workout journey with her. I just needed something that was going to be sustainable for me. Having a personal trainer is great. Like Leslie is so great but Copilot works out better for me because instead of meeting a trainer at a certain time, on a certain day that works in their schedule too. It's all up 
to your schedule. So it has just really worked so well for this stage of life. I think if I was going in without Leslie's workouts, I would just probably go to the treadmill <laughs> and like do some squats. I don't like I don't think I'd be super confident to be doing these full workout programs that she has personalized for me. So if you are interested, you can click my link down below. That will give you a 14 day free trial with your own health and fitness expert like Leslie. Get your own Leslie. You will not be disappointed, I promise. Thank you so much to Copilot for sponsoring this video. I am going to go home and make a protein shake. Smoothie time. Makai, it's smoothie time. Let me just do you guys a favor and teach you how to make a good smoothie here. If you have a magic bullet, I'm kind of make the proportions to... Magic bullet? What is this called? Neutral bullet, whatever. Yeah, literally magic bullet. It's on the freaking thing. So I kind of do the proportions to this. So like ice, you know, you put like bottom third to bottom quarter of it. And then I usually throw in the banana first. And then I break it up. I don't just throw it in there. I break it up to like kind of like ice size chunks, I guess you could say. Right, then you have it there. Then I bring the milk to about right close to the top of this. I usually use normal raw cow's milk, just uses almond milk. I'm an almond milk smoothie girl. I like using normal milk because it gives you a lot more protein. Your choice of chocolate protein powder. We have a beef paleo protein powder because it's elite. It's so yummy. This is also another difference between Jess and I. She is an almond butter. Almond milk and almond butter. She's an almond butter bee and I'm a peanut butter bee, if you know what I mean. Currently, Makaya is both. Yeah, mm -hmm. Makaya does like both. Roughly one tablespoon of almond butter. Now this one has to be exact measurement, a squeeze of honey. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, wait, taste test. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. You're welcome. You never make a not perfect smoothie. I've dialed it in. It's like that and scrambled eggs. I'm gonna head to the grocery store right now to get some things for the week. We have guests pretty much the whole of July. I think there's about a week buffer that we don't have guests. We mostly have like people overlapping. I don't know, people are just traveling in summer, coming to visit. So I need to get some stuff for guests. We Our first guests come tomorrow. But other than that, I need to get just like eggs, fruit, regular weekly stuff. It was pretty hard when we were traveling, when we were in Australia for the month to eat really well. Like I feel like we were out for dinner a lot or we were ordering food. We would go to my parents for dinner quite often, but it's really nice being settled at home. I just cook more. We may order like on the weekend, we may order food, but during the week we cook every night. I can tell such a difference in my body when I am eating like good home cooked meals. It's also been fun now that Micaiah is eating more and more food. She can eat dinner with us. So a lot of the time, sometimes we'll cook her dinner separately because she goes to sleep pretty early. Some nights we'll have dinner all together. I'm making food for her too. So I like want to be making good food and like food that'll be good for her and which is in turn food that is good for us. I brought my headphones again. I love grocery shopping. So I'm going to go and like listen to a podcast or something. And I'm so excited about it. Makaira is taking a great nap right now. So I'm going to get some stuff for dinner. I think I might do spaghetti squash bolognese. Is, that's kind of what I am craving today. It's a really easy like alternative to pasta. I'll show you tonight. I'll cook it. It's this vegetable that when you like put it in the oven and it's like fully cooked and you can scrape it with a fork, it's kind of like little spaghetti. It doesn't taste like spaghetti, but when you mix it with like pasta sauce, it tastes so good. It's such a good alternative to pasta. So this is the spaghetti squash. Basically, I preheat the oven to 400. Once you cut these in half, these are so difficult to cut in half. I actually think it might be easier going like that way rather than this way. Anyway, once you cut it in half, you like spoon out the insides, all of the seeds and the like pulpiness. I don't know what that's called. Spoon it out. Now you get some olive oil, some salt and pepper. Cover it in olive oil. And then I get like a little brush just so it's like all over and then some salt and pepper. Okay, now I get a baking tray with some parchment paper. I put these on upside down. Ah, <laughs> hold on. This is a terrible tutorial. 
upside down like that. I pierce the top a couple times. And then they go in the oven for about 30 minutes. It's really satisfying. And while that cooks, I will cook the pasta sauce. Okay, ready? Woo! Oh, let's go, baby. And then it becomes spaghetti. Like, who figured this out? You I know. know. I mean? Such a good question. How absolutely gassed the spaghetti squash is. Bon appetit! Good morning! Happy 4th of July! We just got back from like a little parade. It was so cute. Makai's taking a nap. I'm so tired today. I don't know what it is, but we have friends arriving in a couple hours. They're flying in, like they're flying here right now. So it's gonna be a good day. Kind of wanted to talk like when I was pregnant, one of the things that I was most curious about and not in like a selfish, like vain type of way. I was just really curious, like what is my body going to do after I have a baby? So I thought it would be interesting for me maybe to share like my perspective on what happened to my body like now being a year after having a baby i put expectations on myself that i feel like i haven't met in terms of my health and fitness journey and i think even working with my personal trainer has really helped me just have a more like realistic approach to it i don't know i feel like when i first like was going through postpartum my belly was kind of like shrinking back down i was really surprised i didn't expect i guess it happened quicker than i expected i feel like i've sort of stayed the same i think in my mind i thought i would get just like more and more toned and more and more fit and that just like hasn't exactly happened it's interesting because i feel like some days i am like way more confident in my body and who i am than even before i got pregnant i would say that's most days i think becoming a mom has given me such a different confidence in myself but i wouldn't say i'm like the most confident in my body that i've ever felt like muscle and like tone wise kind of like i was saying yesterday it's still a journey it's not just going to be a one-stop quick fix i still like have goals of getting strong and getting more toned. What I will say is that I feel like my belly is like pretty elastic-y. Like some days it will look smaller and then just other days I feel like it can just kind of like inflate and it just like looks so different. Some days I'm like, I could literally look a couple of months pregnant. My stomach's not flat. And it wasn't flat before I was pregnant, but I feel like now it's more noticeable. I don't really mind. The only thing that I think about with that is that people will think I'm pregnant. I think it's with social media. Like if I wear anything, if my tummy is like sticking out a little bit, people will think that I'm pregnant, which is like such a normal thing. Everyone I know, like no one has a flat stomach. I think all in all, I'm feeling really good in my body. I'm so amazed with the female body and like how we go through childbirth how our stomach like grows and it shrinks and it, our body changes. I'm just in awe of the creation of it all. I feel good and I feel confident, but then some days like I know I'm not where I want to be. So I still have work to do. I'm still going to be working out. I want to get stronger and toned, but I'm still so proud of what my body has done growing Makaya in this year post birth and like how my body has changed. I would love to know your experience if you're a mom of like when was the time that you felt yourself? I would say I mostly feel myself now being a year into it. But yeah, let me know what it was like for you. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in my next video. Bye.